Serious, what are some women's issues that are overlooked? Endometriosis. How bad some of the negative effects hormonal birth control can be. I was losing my mind, but my doctor brushed it off saying I was just stressed. Got off it, and instantly felt so much better. Getting off of any form of birth control is hard. This past week I had my normal yearly OBG checkup. I mentioned I wanted my IUD out. My normal doctor was out of the office so I had to see someone else. She refused to take my IUD out because I wasn't married and she insisted that my fiancé wouldn't want the chance of us getting pregnant. Not being able to get sterilized when you're 100 million percent sure you don't want kids. PMS and cycle in general. Oral contraceptive birth control pills can cause depression and very often do. PMS and PMDD aren't taken seriously enough. The depression and anxiety of PMDD are debilitating. Edit, genuinely a little heartbroken at how much this blew up overnight. I'm so sorry but not surprised that so many of you deal with these issues. If you have PMDD, please join us at our slash PMDD if only to have a sounding board for when you're feeling bad and wondering if you're crazy. You're not alone. Medical issues. It took me three ER visits and a walk-in doctor to diagnose a raging infection in my abdomen. I was told it's all in my head? By the time it got diagnosed my bowel had almost perforated. I could have died if I was less tenacious. In my country, Bangladesh, women are blamed for everything wrong that happens. For example if a girl marries a guy and after years the guy dies of a disease or something people will say the girl ate the guy meaning anyone who marries the girl will die. Another example is that when women are sexually assaulted people say stuff like why did the girl go in front of guys? Why did the girls go out at night? Why did the girl wear short dresses in front of guys? Stop this is what Asian girls need to go through. I hope one day girl blaming will come to an end. PCOS 10% of women have this, including me, which leads to diabetes, infertility, and many other problems. Health in general. So many medications have only been tested on men, when women can react to things very differently. Pelvic floor physical therapy. It's life-changing, and many women don't know their physical issues can be easily addressed. Postpartum depression. It's so much more common than people think but many mothers feel too guilty to reach out for help because they think everything is supposed to be amazing after getting the baby. Autism in women. Women being the manager of the home. Women are expected to be project managers the mental energy spent running a household is exhausting and falls on the woman. The man often says what can I do to help? Sure, helping with the task is technically helpful. But it doesn't alleviate the burden of that task of the woman expends mental energy on tracking it. My inability to get sterilized. I do not want children. I never have, never will. I will never have children to please a partner. If a partner wants children, they're not the one for me. I want to be sterilized so I have a very 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 minimal chance of getting pregnant. But I cannot do it because I'm too young. I'll change my mind. My partner might want kids, etc. It shouldn't be this hard for me to make a choice on my own body but I am sure about. Nearly every safety invention is designed for the average man. Airbags, seat belts, dosages for drugs, safety bars on roller coasters, etc. Look, I know we can't all custom order cars with different sized belts and bags, etc. But women can sustain serious injuries because safety features aren't meant for them. The extra time, energy, and money that must be spent to look professional. I sometimes try to throw my hands up and say beep it, let them think I'm ugly, and I stop plucking my eyebrows for a while, no makeup, etc. And I'm treated noticeably different. In my country it's after birth care for mothers. Mental health system is beep women are told the pain they are feeling is normal only to find out they need a stoma bag a month down the track. Some women have died after not being checked over properly before leaving the hospital. Edit, I don't even live in a third world country either. People are wanting to move here because of how we've handled COVID. That sometimes you really do need that hysterectomy the doctors are refusing to give you because they want to make sure you don't want to have more children. Same goes for getting a tubal done. In my country feminine hygiene products are subject to the same tax as luxury items. Something seems wrong there. I'm a dude, and this will probably get buried but... I hate the fact that when I'm doing something with my long-time GF like buying a new car, renting a new apartment, taking a loan etc. that people ignore my GF and assume she is just not important. 
They just look at me and talk only to me. I have to make an effort to include her in something she should be in from the start. I feel so bad for her and try to amend it as much as I can, but there is not much you can do. We were at the car dealers the other day looking at the car and the dealer kept ignoring her and her wishes. He was only looking at me and assumed she doesn't know what she is talking about. We just left. Being verbally interrupted. All of the time. This may not happen to every woman but I know it happens to most of the women I know. Just let us finish a sentence SMH. I have a short list that only begins to illuminate. The number one cause of death of pregnant women is homicide, by their male partners. Not strokes, not car crashes, not something else, but their partners. Over the past 15 years, research has supported homicide as a leading cause of pregnancy-associated deaths in the United States. There are many journal articles, this is just one. Women get paid less than men for doing the same work, correcting for all variables, especially in the field of medicine. Gynecology is one of the most repulsive examples of this if you ask me. People believe being a stay-at-home mom means you aren't working, when it is often more difficult than actually going to work, if you have a couple of babies. It is viewed by our society as a privilege given to you by your husband, when daycare may cost a whole partner's salary. Many stay-at-home moms are so taken for granted and financially and emotionally abused by their husbands, that they don't even know how unfair their lives are. Interestingly, when mothers work just as much as their husbands, most end up doing 75% of the parenting, most of the household chores, and typically managing the household, appointments, plans, bills, etc. Single women are the happiest, longest living demographic, while married women live shorter lives than single women and married men live longer lives than single men. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis in 2018 when my neurologist noticed my antilevels were 320 to 1. The normal ratio is 40 to 1. He called me immediately and referred me to a rheumatologist that day. I was reviewing old medical records from 2013 from my prior neurologist at Fort Drum, and my ANA numbers were at 120 to 1. They never said anything. I could have been diagnosed and started treatment five years earlier if the jackass neuro had just paid attention. Now my army career is ending four and a half years early and I have moderate to severe RA when I could potentially have gone into remission by now if they had just done their damn job. Prolapse. I was properly shocked when I learned about this surprisingly somewhat common side effect from childbirth ETA. For those who don't know, cuz I sure as hell didn't. Some women will have their organs start falling out of their vaginas following childbirth, especially older women and especially after multiple pregnancies without proper physio in between, but not always. Low libido. Men get Viagra, women get told to go on a date with your spouse, rolling eyes face, when I was having issues, a female gyno told me that. Finally, after 12 years, found one who ran a hormone panel and discovered I wasn't producing enough testosterone. Fix the whole issue. Seriously, not enough clothes have pockets in them. This is not a joke or a troll. The other issues have been mentioned, but this is a big one. 1. Harmful chemicals unknowingly present in feminine hygiene products and absorbed through thin skin of genitalia. 2. No one talks about how difficult pregnancy actually is. The delivery is a cakewalk compared to nine moss of pregnancy. The fact that in India, sexual harassment is legal if it's by your husband. Like what the actual beep. The fact that sexual harassment often starts before a girl is even an adult. The fact that women grow up learning that their most important source of value is in their appearance, and other women also participate in reinforcing it. The general lack of knowledge on hormones and the female body. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to subscribe to Upvote for the best quality content every day.